Notice how in the high risk and in the low risk portfolio, there's still allocation towards ETFs, right? I think it's essential. Even if you're high risk, you have to have ETF in your portfolio. They give you a nice base, right? A nice um, backing for your riskier assets, right? Like right. Your, your individual companies. What's up, Bachelor family? Welcome to episode 22 of Rookie Mondays. Today, we're going to tell you how you could invest $1,000. And this is not investment advice. Don't get us wrong. But we just want to give you some ideas because um, this is a bear market we're in right now, right? It's a historic time. We got inflation going crazy right now. We got supply chain issues. It's, it's a lot going on in the economy. It's scary. And we understand that. So we just want to give you some ideas. Um, what do you think about that, bro? Yeah. So honestly, we sat down and we basically came up with portfolios for people who have high risk and for people who have low risk, right? Because that obviously varies. So we just want to give you guys an idea for both options where you can put your $1,000 right now, right? So let's just kick it off. What you got for $1,000 right now for all the high risk? All right. So this is for people at high risk. It's, you know, maybe even people on the younger side. And the way I would do is I was divided by 10% into Bitcoin, 5% into Ethereum. And then I'll put 5% into altcoins. Okay. All right. So, so far we have 20% into, into crypto, mm -hmm. right? And for my altcoins, you can't just get any old altcoin. Right? right. So he's not talking about Doge or nothing like that. Please no. Please no. Only the credible ones. Because if you believe in the space of crypto, you have to believe in certain altcoins because they're essential to the development of the crypto world. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I'm, I'm a strong believer in crypto. So like altcoins like XRP, Cardano, Polkadot. Chainlink, Decentraland. Decentraland is a leading metaverse platform. Right. Right. I think that all of those, if you actually look into what they do, have a very, very strong future in crypto. And it's funny because we've actually spoken about all these different coins before in general on the platform. And we spoke about Bitcoin and Ethereum in detail. So if you guys haven't you know, checked out those episodes, if you're a new listener right now, definitely go check out the playlist because we have a bunch of those informations listed out. So you get a deep understanding of what everything actually means in the crypto world. Mm -hmm, exactly. And, um, and you know, right now, getting old coins at this time is, is, is good because then you're going to, you know, crypto will be back. Right. And it's going to come back heavy. So if you were to accumulate now, you'll be good. And I only put 5% towards that. So, you know, it's for high risk, but we still put just a little bit of it towards that. You know, nothing crazy. Um, and then now moving off crypto. So 20% of the money is going into crypto. Now we're moving into the stock market. I would say I'll put 10% into VGT, which is an ETF. If you're not familiar with what an ETF is, watch earlier videos of Rookie Mondays. We went in detail about that. Yep. Okay. So 10% into VGT. They have holdings like Apple in there. They hold. What is VGT though for people? Like what is that? Vanguard fund? What is uh, that? It's a, it's a Vanguard fund for information technology. There it is. All right. And that's information technology is essential for our future. Right. Uh, so that's why I chose this fund to invest into. Um, they hold things like Apple, Microsoft, NVIDIA, Visa. Like these are all great companies all in that one fund. So VGT. 10% into VOO, the S&P 500. 10% into TQQ. So TQQ is the NASDAQ, right? Mm -hmm. But it's triple leveraged. Meaning that if NASDAQ goes up 1%, TQQ goes up 3%. For the people and, who don't know what NASDAQ, explain that. Yeah, NASDAQ is just a lot of tech companies, right? It's, a, it's an index fund with a lot of tech in there right. to make it very simple. And we know tech is a huge part of our future. Exactly. You know, so, but the only thing about TQQ is, remember, this is high risk tolerance. If they go, if NASDAQ goes down 1%, then TQQ goes down 3%. Remember, it's three times the percentage. So at the end of the day, you guys have to understand it's, you know, great reward if it's going up, but it's also going to be a bad thing if it goes down. You're going to lose more money. Exactly. However, I think for your point is you're buying in this market right now for your $1,000 because you're trying to say that tech has already been blown out the water. Mm -hmm. So if you get in right now, you could see some good returns. Exactly. Like even if there's a little bit more blood to come, there's a lot more upside, right? right we're right, already right. so drawn down into the market. All right. So that that's for this whole portfolio, really. Like your, your entries on all of these are going to be a great upside. Um, and then also now 10% into VTI, which is just a total stock market. Mm -hmm. All right. So that covers my, my ETFs right there. And then 10% into Microsoft individually, 10% into Apple, 10% into Google, and 10% into NVIDIA. 
All right, so let's just break that down, right? For everyone right now who's a podcast listener, you guys probably won't see this visual, but for my YouTubers, you got 20% into crypto, you got 40% into ETFs, you got 40% into individuals. Yeah. All right, cool. So that is for high risk tolerance, right? Yeah. Now, I made my own, which is kind of similar, but different in a little bit, right? So basically, how I break down my high risk tolerance is I have individual stocks in there. So I got Microsoft, I got Apple, I got Nvidia, and I got Square. Now, all those have the same exact allocation at 10%, which is $100 into each of them, right? Right after that, I go into Bitcoin and Ethereum, the same process. A hundred dollars and a hundred dollars. So now you have ten percent, and then I close it out with QQQ, and then I close it out with VOO at two hundred dollars each. So that summarizes everything essentially for my high risk tolerance. Now the reason why I have individuals in there because I see higher growth in those. I think those are great companies to get involved in, especially during this time period and this market. Apple and Microsoft, we already spoke a lot about on the channel, but NVIDIA, we spoke about a little bit as well in terms of they're a great chip maker, right? We know everything takes chips right now. And on top of that, Square. I'm probably the biggest Square fan you guys know at this point. You guys don't know that. I love this company. I think FinTech is going to take over the world, honestly. So that's why I got that. We already spoke about crypto and ETF, so I won't get involved in that. But that's my high. Risk mm-hmm. tolerance. And then can you just tell people what QQQ is? Yeah, so same same thing that you already said. It's this it's just a tech, right? So basically you're going off the NASDAQ, the same process that you already explained. Non-financial companies are involved in QQQ, NASDAQ, obviously, and then TQQ is what you explained earlier, triple leverage. So yeah. if it goes up, you know, you're gonna triple the reward. If it goes down, do you triple the bad news? So same process. So that's high risk tolerance. If you guys had one thousand dollars right now. Now, for my people who have a low risk tolerance, it does not matter. It's not a bad thing. Don't let anyone tell you guys if you have a low risk tolerance, it's bad. Like at the end of the day, money is being invested no matter what. So you're doing things right. So for low risk tolerance, we actually agree. Yeah, definitely on, agree. Which is pretty cool. Honestly, we usually don't agree on things like this. <laughs> but let's break it down, right? So we said 35% into VOO, which is S&P 500. So what, the top 500 companies? Yeah. Then we got 15% into crypto. So we still want to have some crypto exposure, but we're taking out altcoins completely. We're just going to rock with Bitcoin and Ethereum, right? So that's a split right there. If you guys don't want to invest in Bitcoin and Ethereum, you can check out Fidelity's ETF right now. They have a digital payment and crypto ETF, which is pretty new. So you could rock with that one. Then you have VTI and QQQ being split at 25% each. So that's the safe portfolio, which is low risk tolerance. Now, at the end of the day, we'll go ahead. Now, I just want to say, notice how in the high risk and in the low risk portfolio, there's still allocation towards ETFs, right? I think it's essential. Even if you're high risk, you have to have ETF in your portfolio. They give you a nice base, right? A nice um, backing for your riskier assets, right? Like your your individual companies. Yeah, because at the end of the day, think about it, right? Like you're not going to expect an ETF that has 50 companies or 100 companies to go down all at once where you lose 30 40 percent value but individual you can expect that no matter if it's a growth or if it's actually a really large cap or mega large cap company like we've seen microsoft we've seen apple we've seen google go down more than 10 percent. that happens right that's because the market is reacting this way but at the end of the day if you have ets like you said it will balance out Mm -hmm. so now that you have an understanding of where to put your one thousand dollars when it comes to the market let's talk about some other things we didn't mention real estate in there and the reason for that really is because $1,000 in real estate is not going to do much for you. Like you can invest in REITs. You want to explain what REITs really quick is? Yeah, it's a real estate investment trust. So when you're investing in companies like those, those companies are literally buying real estate and they're paying you, you know, some of their profits back. Over 90% of their revenue has to go back into their investors. Exactly. So if you want to invest in REITs, go right ahead. We've covered that on the channel before as well. So we'll put the link in the description below where we went over that topic. But you can invest in Fundrise. We covered that as well. We just think right now, if you have $1,000, invest it into this type of portfolio like we just discussed. After some time goes by and you continue to dollar cost average, you can take out your profits and then go into real estate, right? Mm-hmm. So that way your money's working for you. But let's just really quick talk about where you can invest your $1,000, not including the stock market, crypto market, real estate, right? So we're talking about personal development because that's a yeah. huge investment in yourself, y'all. So what do you have for that? Yeah, ultimately, I want you to just invest in your education. Like, please invest in your education. That goes from reading, that goes from taking courses. Like, some great books you could read, for example, I would say is like Atomic Habits. You know, teach you about time management, 
discipline. Um, if you want to talk money, you could read something called Money Master the Game by Tony Robbins. And there's so many books you could get into. Literally, you could just look up topics and be like books for whatever topic you want to learn about. And you'll see the top choices come up on Google. Pick one, read it. Like, because it can literally change it. Like, information changes your life when you execute upon it. You understand? So, I would go with books and courses. Like, um, I would say for, for a course you can get into, look into like options trading. Because we're talking about markets on this channel a lot. And if you trade options, you can make money whether the stock market is going up or down. Because it's tough. It's, you see this time period where your, your portfolios are down. You're just kind of holding things at a losing position. It hurts. You know, but if you learn a trade like options trading, you're literally making money when the stock market is down or up. You can make money every day. Right. So invest in your education for a skill set. Yeah, no, I, I agree. Spot on. At the end of the day, I think education is one of the best things you could do, like whether it be, you know, just reading on books or getting mentorships, right? You could sign up for mentoring programs as well. So the books that you said were great. Um, also, if you're looking for like mental health, you know, type of books, definitely check out the subtle or not giving an F. Ego is the enemy. Those two books are my two favorite when it comes to this stuff. Um, there's also one that says stop doing that effing stuff, right? So definitely check that out as well because it's a great book. It gets you thinking the right way. So that's amazing. The Psychology of Money is another good one. If you want real estate books, definitely check out Brandon Turner's book that he basically talks about all the rental tips that you can get into, long-term, short-term, everything. It's a beginner-level book for real estate people. Yeah. Um, you already mentioned courses, right? Mm -hmm. You already mentioned certifications. I actually, did you mention certifications? No, nah, no, nah, go ahead. All right, so certifications. For all my people right now who are in the corporate world, I know you guys know what I'm talking about when it comes to certifications, right? Think about it. If you are doing a job, right, and I tell you, bro, you can get certified and get paid 10 to 15K more, wouldn't you do it? Absolutely. Exactly, because you invest in yourself. Certifications like a PMP, yeah, it costs $500, $700 to get into it, but you can get that cert, go get a new job, and that job will pay you more because you have a certified something that says, yo, yes, I could do this and I'm certified to do it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So that's why certifications are great, but that basically summarizes everything we want to talk about today when it comes to where you should put your one thousand dollars right now in 2022 in this market right mm -hmm. so make sure you guys understand that and you want to tell them what we have coming yo we have an interview coming out on wednesday this is an amazing interview yo they told us we interviewed two legends who told us everything thing you need to know about airbnb investing so it's so much value in there. We learned on the interview. <laughs> like, That's a fact. That's a fact. It's episode 52. So you uh -huh. got to make sure you guys check it out and support. That's a very big deal. We won't say who the guests are just yet, but you <laughs> want to check it out. And make sure you guys follow us on Instagram and TikTok because we're going to be uh, giving a bunch of different you know, tips on there as well related to this upcoming episode. Mm -hmm. So if you haven't already done so, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Plus, hit that little notification bell because we drop two videos a week. And you don't want to miss them. We're going to check you out on Wednesday. But until then, peace. Peace.